Hello folks, in this session we are going to create a program uh, that is going to essentially read uh, messages uh, from the uh, weblogic JMS queue and uh, you know bring the message into the program and print it. Uh, in the past session we saw how to write a program uh, that would send messages to weblogic. Uh, then we logged on to weblogic uh, console and we could see our messages. Uh, this is continuation of that where we are now going to uh, read the messages of the queue and bring them into our program. So uh, it is actually quite simple to do this thing. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take our old program that we have already written, uh, make a clone of it and then we are going to uh, uh, alter it. Okay. So we do not have to do all this uh, programming we have here, right? all these things we do not have to redo. So let me copy this and let me paste it. Okay. And um, I want to call it Q Reader. Then I'll go in here and do some modifications. Okay. So let's see Q Reader. Okay. And it is going to implement message listener. Click this power of Eclipse, right? We don't have to think much. Import it. And there is a on message, there is a, a class that needs to be implemented. We do that. It's got added here. Okay, maybe we got it MSG. Okay. Now let's take a look before we start making extensive changes. Uh, what we need to do here again, I have a working program, so we'll uh, refer to that. Uh, but let's take a look and see how much we can do. We definitely don't need a queue sender, so we will do change it to a receiver. This will be a receiver. Okay. Okay, so let's go up here. So we don't need a sender. Only I can type. Again, import. Then let's see, I think this one we will change. Again, um, we are not going to post. So let's get rid of this guy. We will close. So let's then send to server doesn't apply. We are not going to send anything. Initial context should be same. Q reader is now going to be a Q reader uh, then let's copy this guy initialize it there's going to be no such thing as send to server we will do this okay and then uh, on message is actually the main one that's going to read it. Okay, so let us um, open this guy up. 
remove unused import, remove unused import, remove key center. Okay. All right. So let me go here, and I have uh, essentially the uh, working version here. Okay. So this we are going to leave alone, and. Uh, you know, for this to get out, we are going to have a flag, okay, so that with the loop. Uh, but before we come to all this, let me go here. So we have our message, okay, so let me copy this whole section and I want to talk about it in there. Again, it is very straightforward. I mean, this really, this is how it has to be programmed, right? Um, so you get a message, you get the guest, get text of it. In the message, you, you know, we're going to print print out what the message came. Um, there's a quit, you know, if you see over this guy, we have a thing here which says, uh, if you send a quit, it quits. So basically the same thing, uh, the Q reader is basically going to look for that word quit. If it gets a quit message, it's going to quit. Again, you know, if you don't want all this, uh, you can always kill the program, right? But this is just, you know, to make it more elegant. So there is a quit, right? A signal. Uh, this is also going to be used in the main. So let me go there first. Then we put it here so we can actually see what we are doing here. Okay, so initial context, we decided to leave it alone. Then Q reader is Q new Q reader, leave it alone. Uh, initial, the Q reader in it was there, so we leave it alone. Okay. Then we'll get rid of this guy. We're going to use this one here. Okay. And there's a quit. Okay. So that's the Boolean quit we need to put up here. So that's the one, okay. Now in the init, uh, we look through here, right? So everything is equal, excepting there is this one line we need. So we're going to replace this with this guy. Okay, so then I think this is all set. Everything else remains the same, I think. Okay, a few more braces here. Okay. All right, I think this should be it. So let's do this thing. Let's start up our server. Okay. And I'm going to we'll do this. I'm going to start a new console here. What I'm trying to do here is uh, I am going to see the two programs, the sender and the receiver side by side. Okay. Now let's see why is this thing doing some things. Uh, okay, unused. Okay. 
So let's get this started. Java application. Good. Let's get this guy started. So in the top console, I am going to put the queue post poster. Okay. All right. So moment of truth. And uh, and we right away got the message. Okay. Yeah, that's my wife's name. Let's uh, put her name here. She puts up with me all this late night activities. And uh, and uh, now. Uh, Great. So, as you can see, uh, we are able to we are able to send uh, information uh, from one application into WebLogic JMS queue, and then we are reading off that JMS queue and bringing it back in the application. So, this sort of uh, gives you know the basic framework of how to send information from Java into WebLogic and then uh, read information from the WebLogic queue and bring it into your application. Again, there are uh, numerous other uh, you know things possible and at a later date, we'll perhaps come back and uh, build some more advanced uh, applications. But for now, if you're starting up, I think this should help you uh, cover uh, you know basically uh, both sides, you know, uh, being the publisher as well as the subscriber. So, you can, you know, do the both ends, okay. All right. So, again, let me close these guys out. So, that way, here is the program and uh, let me scroll a little bit and uh, scroll further. Uh, so, you can pause the video and take a look at the syntax. Um, if you have any uh, questions, again, you know, one thing we didn't do was, let me do that quickly here. What I didn't do was, I, so if I say quit here, right, and as you can see, this also got terminated. Okay, so basically the application quit, uh, but you know normally you know you don't need this. You can always kill the application. So that sort of uh, concludes this session. Uh, if you like the video, uh, feel free to hit a like. Actually, I'll appreciate if you hit a like. And um, if you uh, have any questions, uh, please uh, put them in the comment section. And uh, uh, I'll try to answer them. Uh, thank you and uh, see you in the next session.